Hi guys, welcome back to Infosec Train. My name is Divyani and today we have Mr. Bharat with us. He is a cyber security expert and a trainer at Infosec Train. Hi Bharat, how are you doing? Hi everyone. Hi Divyani. I am doing good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. So Bharat, uh, for organizations collecting information about threat is you know pretty much important these days. And uh, when we do talk about that, threat intelligence is something that comes into the picture. and there are two important things that we hear a lot about this that are ttps and iocs so could you help us understand what these are absolutely yes so let discuss something on this topic so bharat what are basically ttps and iocs you know what is the basic difference between both of them so as you mentioned when we do talk about threat intelligence ttps and iocs are the major thing which we do talk about it so we can divide the entire threat intelligence into two different parts that is ttps and iocs i'll just first of all define both of them ttp stands for tactics techniques and procedure whereas ioc stands for indicators of compromise so if we talk do talk about both of them basically these are two different things which we are going to collect about the attacker so you can understand it in a way we are going to collect information about attackers and that information if concludes to be the behavior of the attacker that is basically what we do call as ttps the tactics which attacker is going to use throughout the attack that means what kind of strategy they are making let's say they have to basically gain the initial compromise of the system so that will be the tactic initial compromise that's the tactic so if we do talk about how attacker is going to do that so that will be something where they will be basically doing let's say they can send you a phishing mail right through which once you click on it your computer might get compromised so that is basically something which is technique right so similarly combining all these tactics and techniques in order to basically craft a attack basically creating a procedure throughout of it that is what we do call as ttp tactics techniques and procedure on other hand as we were talking about iocs now iocs are totally different from ttps as i mentioned ttps are about the behavior of the attackers whereas iocs are basically something which we can say signs about the attacker now let's say attacker is using www.hacker.com website to spread the malware so that website's domain name can be a ioc in case if our system is communicating to that website's domain name that is basically something which we can detect as ioc in our system similarly attackers ip address through which they are spreading spreading the malware that can be again an ioc so iocs are indicators of compromise which are basically the sign we can say the proof of hack that attackers have actually attacked and this is the proof which can point towards these attackers that is basically we do call as iocs so that's what ttps and iocs are okay and uh, what are the common examples of ttps and iocs yeah as i mentioned iocs iocs these can be urls these can be domain names these can be hash values of a file these can be even your urls uris these can be multiple different signatures sometimes we do see urls uh, and file types as well we do see file sizes as well in terms of iocs and if we do talk about ttps ttps are all together the behavior of the attacker that how they are planning the attack and what techniques they are using to craft the attack so an example of a ttp can be a tactic as a initial access and a technique as a phishing so to gain the initial compromise of your system or to gain the initial access of a system attacker can send you a malicious file via phishing mail so that once you download that file and execute in your system your system might get compromised so that's a tactic and techniques example okay and uh, what are the famous platforms to gather ttps and iocs yes in this particular time period there are lots of basically websites which are booming up to share the information about attackers i'll just name few of them which are very major of them which we do use as a security intelligence in order to gain some information about attackers in our organization so we do have miter attack framework for that particular part we do have alien vault otx for that particular part in order to collect the iocs we do have ibm's threat exchange exforce uh, threat exchange which is there in the market which is doing pretty good anomaly threat stream is there we do have misp project misp project is there so all these are basically the platform where we can collect the information about attackers yeah, okay Uh thank you Bharat uh thank you for your time uh so guys uh, to know more about TTPs and IOCs you can check out our courses at www.infosectrain.com 
see you guys in the next video till then bye bye stay home stay safe